So how many times do I have to be posting on social media for my home daycare? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Welcome to the video. My name is Christina Rosakos, early childhood educator by trade. I run a marketing agency that helps childcare business owners from all over the world with their marketing needs. And today we are tackling this very popular question I hear a lot from my clients. Do I really need to be posted consistently in order to grow my home daycare on social media? And for the for the sake of this video, I am going to focus on home daycares, which most probably if you're a home daycare, you do not have the cash investment to be spending on paid traffic, which means you are leveraging Facebook and Instagram to grow organically. And I am going to have to answer yes. Yes, you do you have to be consistent on social media and i'm going to walk you through why exactly okay so the first reason before i dive into the points is you have to understand that facebook and instagram their um algorithms so their their brain their ai if you will um favors content that is engaging that is stop the scroll worthy that someone likes clicks shares comments under okay but that does not mean you can just post one thing, you know, last month and then come back again two, three weeks later and think, oh, yes, I have to post something again. No, this just means that they favor engaging material. I also want you to keep in mind that if you have, let's say, 200 people following your business page and maybe another 100 people on Instagram following your business page over there, that that does not mean every time you post, everyone on that list actually sees what you're posting. No maybe around four or five percent of followers or fans actually read and see your posts which means if you post something amazing within 24 hours five percent of people that follow you actually are going to see it and then it just goes dead you know from the feed right which sucks obviously it sucks because most of the time you're taking time and effort to put something nice together and you really want it to work for you now facebook really wants you to be paying for paid traffic so having a business page means that you can start creating ad campaigns and boosting posts and all those things but if you're running a home daycare and you want to know it, is it really important for you as a home daycare provider to be posting all the time the answer is yes and i'm going to explain why okay so the first reason is that it builds community among your current clients right so People that are following you, the parents in your care, people that are on the fence, that follow your page, your page but are not necessarily clients yet, um, they're looking. They might not be commenting, they might not be liking or sharing or sending you messages, but they're looking to what you're posting, right? If they didn't want to be following you, they would just unfollow your, pa your page, right? So when you're posting all the time, when you're posting every single day and you're posting things that matter, things that engage, things that, um, are, th that the kids are doing or experiencing in your care, uh, parents, first of all, parents love to see, you know, to get updates on what their kids are doing. Um, it keeps clients updated on your services that keeps them informed, right? If you have any special offers or anything else that you want to mention, and it really kind of builds that relationship with the people, the community, um, of current clients that are following you, right? And that's really nice because you want people to feel like they belong and that it's not just something that, you know, that they're paying for, but you really take it seriously and you treat their kids and, the, and them as an extension of your family, right? Um, the other the other reason you have to be posted consistently is you really need to position yourself as an expert in childcare. And now if you're running a home daycare and this is the first time for you um, to be in childcare, you may not feel like an expert. You may feel like you don't know what you're doing. But it's really important that as you stay consistent and as you're showing up every day and you're posting content that engages, that educates, that entertains, um, that is stop the scroll worthy, that really shows these moms and dads in your community and that are following your page why they should say yes to you versus the daycare down the street. Um, the more you post, the more Facebook throws out these posts on, on, on feeds of the moms and dads in your community and their friends as well, which is really important, right? So you're reaching more people. So you always want to be top of mind and you always want to position yourself as someone that knows what they're talking about, as someone that actually cares about the kids and the care and that you are um, committed to offering amazing, exceptional child care in your home daycare, okay? So whether that's you giving advice on how to get a toddler to eat more veggies, whether that's, you know, potty training advice, whether that's, um, you know, I, I don't know, sharing five books that really foster reading skills and preschoolers, like whatever that is, um, we all have an area that we're experts in, right? So you want to make sure that you're always showcasing this 
when you're posting online, when you're sharing content and videos and testimonials and social proof. And that's really going to build you up as an authority, as the go-to person in childcare, because you're always going to be in the feed of these moms and dads. And not only are you going to be in the feed of these moms and dads, but you're also going to be in their feed with valuable information that they actually want to read. Okay. Um, why else should you be posting on social media consistently? Well, it helps you reach more of your target audience, right? So what, if you don't know what a target audience is, is basically those ideal clients that you want to work with, that you want to attract in your community, right? By posting more, the algorithm picks this up. And especially if it's content that's, you know, engaging and entertaining and people are actually engaging underneath it and sharing it, then Facebook, what it's going to do, it's, it's always going to share these posts to the people that are following you. And it's going to refer your page to other people that follow similar pages like yours, right? So it's really important that we use the algorithm and that artificial intelligence to our advantage and we make Facebook work for us, right? We want them to take a, a post or a content or whatever you created and you want to throw it out there to as many people as possible so you can reach more eyeballs, okay? So that's really important as well. As well. And that doesn't happen by posting randomly. It happens by posting once or twice every single day. Um, another reason why I love posting consistently is that people that are following you, that are reading these posts, that are sharing these posts, they start feeling as though they know you, right? Especially if you leverage live video, they feel like they know you already, that you're familiar, especially if you're posting consistently and you're always on their feed. Um, and that really starts conversations, which let's face it, we all want to start conversations because that's like moving, moving in the right direction. You're getting a step closer to inviting this person to book a visit with you to visit your, your daycare, right? And eventually enrolling. So when you're posting all the time, when you're showing up consistently on their feed, when you're leveraging amazing posts and engaging content and videos and testimonials and going live and answering questions, then people that are following you feel more connected to you. They feel like, you know, I know this person, like I trust this person. I like what she has to say. I like what her program is about. And then, you know, then they're more prone to send you a message directly or even better call you to book a tour with you so it's really important that you're always engaging with your followers uh, to really establish that that um, credibility that is really important when you're running a home daycare because let's face it if a mom and dad does not trust you they will not sign up in your program so that is why it's consistent to stay consistent that is why it's important sorry to stay consistent with your social media you want to make sure that you are nurturing that relationship you have with existing clients you want to make sure that you're always positioning yourself as an expert in this field right always making sure that you're sharing content that really showcases your unique selling points and really places your home daycare um, you know, on a different bracket than the rest of the home daycares. Um, posting consistently is going to help you reach more local audiences, more families that you want to serve. And lastly, most importantly, it's going to start more conversations because the more people see your face, the more they hear your voice, the more they feel like they know you and that they can trust you. And then eventually they will message you to book a visit with you and hopefully enroll their child in your program. So I hope this video helped you see why it's important to post consistently on social media. If you're running a home daycare and you have no time to be creating content or putting videos together you need help with your marketing you just don't know what to do why don't you join my next virtual open house and um, i open up the doors to my monthly membership and i really share with you some mistakes that i see a lot of childcare business owners making on social media and then i really just show you exactly what members are experiencing how they're growing their centers organically on social media um, and then I share exactly what is included if you decide to become a member. So it's free to join. You can ask your marketing questions at the end. It's done in lifetime. Um, I will put the link in uh, the description of this video. So make sure you show up for that. Um, and other than that, have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye for now.